Well, the overall team titles aren't confirmed as yet, but a Wesley Hall boy and a Bay Primary girl won today's Travis Straw Memorial Cross Country event for primary schools. Over 40 schools competed on the Wildy Gymnasium circuit today. CBC's Melissa Farley reports. 1,000 meters the distance in this race. Over 200 runners started on the line from approximately 42 schools. The girls are off and down the stretch, heading for the loop, some trying to break away and some trying to keep up. It was Sarah Bell from St. George Primary who took the lead from here, with Roland Kirsten Brown of Bay Primary trailing. And on to the final meters, it was Bell still leading the way. But on the stretch to the finish line, Bay Primary took over the lead in 5 minutes 29 seconds as Kirsten Brown led the pack home. When I have left school, I told everyone that I wanted to come first. So when I had started the race, I was nervous, but I just tried to do my best. Bell finished in second in 5 minutes 33 seconds, and Bear Primary also took third spot in 5 minutes 39 seconds through Vivica Addison. The distance was the same for the boys' race, a little faster this one, as the pack kept tight on the loop and made way towards the finish. Some with shoes and others without, whatever makes them comfortable on their mission to be victorious. A Kobe Antrobus of Hilda Skeen and Wesley Hall's Dominique Cadogan were the top contenders in battle for this one, with Kimar John trailing and aiming to give Wesley Hall another top spot. And when Antrobus fell back a bit, Cadogan and John tagged team for the first and second respectively, giving Wesley Hall the two top spots in this year's race. We had cross-country eliminations at the school, where they set up, set up, set up a course basically all around the school for the children to take part in. I knew that the, these two boys, the boy who plays first and second were very strong, so he told them to keep up with the, 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 the runners at the front and to basically pace up themselves and when they got near the finish line to come home. Cadogan won in five minutes flat, with John in second in five minutes and one second. Antrobus came in close in third with a time of five minutes and two seconds. Melissa Farley, CBC Sports. Welcome back. Well, St. Michael South and St. Philip West were booted out of the David Thompson Memorial Football Classic last night after both played to draws at Brereton. The two sides needed to win by a four-goal margin to have any chance of advancing to the knockouts. Well, the matchups had plenty of exciting moments, but the night was overshadowed by some serious injuries. St. Michael South in the yellow bibs up against St. Michael West. Chance early on for St. Michael South. Through ball and all that was needed. A good finish. Disappointing. Up and over the crossbar. But persistence would pay off the cross from the left, headed into the path of guess who? Tristan Fishy Paris puts it away. 1 0 to St. Michael South. In the second half now, St. Michael South with the corner kick. Paris to make it two, cleared away off the line. St. Michael West made the best of their opportunity in the 65th minute. Xavier Duncan shakes off two defenders, then pokes it home. One all. And well, that's the way it finished. St. Michael West through to the next round. In the nightcap game, St. Michael Northwest taking on St. Philip West in the blue and white jersey. St. Michael Northwest get a break down the right. The shot from distance, side netting. A good effort. A chance for St. Philip West at the other end as well. Mistake at the back. The keeper beaten. Can he put it away? No. Cleared off the line as well. My mind. Nil nil then at half time. In the second 85th minute from the corner kick. Ball knocked around. And Dave Taylor gets on the end of it. Goal to St. Philip West. 1 0. Well, late on in the game, St. Michael Northwest were reduced to 10 men after a challenge by Keon Atkins. Player down, clutching his knee in anguish. And the referee showing the red card. We'll skip ahead to the 90th minute. More carnage from the free kick. St. Philip West players collide. And two teammates on the ground. And this one was pretty serious. The ambulance summoned. And the two players taken to hospital. Well, out of that, a penalty was awarded to St. Michael Northwest. Referee spotting a foul in the box. And Stefan Eiffel will step up, knocking it home. 
the game ending, St. Philip West won, St. Michael North West won. Well, Nisha Cummins, president of the Barbados Netball Association, is liking what she's seeing from the senior national squad as they prepare for next year's Commonwealth Games. The team returned recently after winning the inaugural Northern Ireland International Netball Festival. This performance again was very important. We we're hoping to have some more international invitations, but we also are hoping to play our regional teams as well. St. Lucia, they're going to Commonwealth, Trinidad and Jamaica. So based on our performance, we're hoping that some of the bigger teams would also invite Barbados to play again. Well, Cummins is hoping to get things in place for the team to get more international exposure before the games in Glasgow next year. These matches aren't only important in terms of part preparation for that tournament, but are also key to helping Barbados maintain a top 10 world ranking, but it's getting increasingly difficult. Challenging in terms of finances, St. Trinidad and Jamaica, they're the only two teams that are ranked higher than us and they're our nearest neighbors. So for us to continue, continuously maintain our rankings and to improve, it means that we have to move out to the region. Even for us to attend Commonwealth, it, it meant that we needed to be part of the top 12 teams in the world. So we can't really put rankings aside. At the senior level, every game that we play is very important as it relates to the ranking. And also to keep the standard of netball and so on, we, we look at the ranking, we look at the, where the teams are at and where we need to get to as well.